Hi guys, today we're going to do some August favorites. It is now September, so we're going to do August favorites. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of face and hair things, and then I'm going to go on to the makeup. I have a couple of new things, a couple of things that I've loved previously. We'll talk about it. Alright, the first thing is going to be the Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Away Clay Mask. This is amazing. I absolutely love it. It is thicker than the other Peel Away Masks by Freeman. Um, this one here is more, is a clay, but it dries so you can peel it. And I just find that it is easier to work with. I love the results. I love the way my skin feels after. It's a very easy mask to use. It's a great price point. I think I paid $3 and something, $3.67 or something at Walmart. This one here is Normal to Combo Skin, Pulls Pore Clogging Grime. And it definitely is a great mask. It doesn't... Um, it kind of smells like that the peel away mask smell, but it does smell kind of like sweet tea too. So yeah, it's not bad and it's super quick. It doesn't take that long to do it. It says five to ten minutes or until dry. And usually it only takes me about five minutes to do this. So definitely fast, easy to work with, definitely a great mask if you're looking for a mask. And I got mine at Walmart. Um the other one, and I forgot to mention this in my last monthly favorites, but I'm going to mention in this one, and that is definitely the makeup eraser. I definitely love this little guy. I use it every night to take my makeup off. Um, I would die if they didn't make it anymore. I'm thinking of getting a backup. That's how much I love this product. It literally, like, all you do is get it wet, and you just take your makeup off. You don't need any makeup remover or anything. And it exfoliates your skin while you're doing that. So that's another bonus. But I got mine at Sephora. I think it was $20 around there. And it's definitely worth it. I suggest if you are a makeup wearer to get one. Um, it takes everything off. Like I literally like I could go with my face now even with lipstick on and everything and just scrub it away and it takes it all off and then I obviously go in with like um, some of that micellar water by Simple and just make sure that I get everything off because I don't want to sleep with any eye makeup on and then it basically is already all gone and that so definitely a great product love this thing like love it I don't think I'll ever get sick of that thing two hair products one of them is, this is my empty one, I have another one in the shower. This is my Garnier Fructis Eraser, Damage Eraser Strength Reconstructioning Butter. Mm, and this smells so good. Like, it's like empty, but it smells so good. I love it. I love this one. I used to love, and I still do use it, the um, Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. But this has since replaced it. I definitely love this. It is amazing. I use it as I would use a conditioner instead of a conditioner because I don't want to condition my hair too much. But I definitely love the results that I get with this. Um, the I did my hair last night. I shampooed it and I used the uh, Aussie one when I used the conditioner. But this one here I absolutely definitely love. I love the smell of it. I love the way it leaves my hair. Definitely makes it conditioned and looks great, feels great. Love it. Another hair product is this. I think I talked about this like last year or at the beginning of the year. Is this Her Styler Hair Serum Argan Oil Vitamin E. This stuff smells so good. It smells like a new baby's head. I don't know how else to describe it. You know how new babies have that smell on their hair? And it's just like that new baby smell? Yeah, that's what this smells like. If you could capture that in a bottle, it is in this bottle. This here is, unlike any other hair serum that I've used, I didn't use it last night, but I do use this like a lot. Um, this one here, it actually, like I put it in when my hair is kind of damp but not dry, and I just put it through like the ends of my hair. I don't go like up here, I just go from like here down, because I want to condition this, and I have very, very fizzy hair. So I want to make it so it's not so fizzy. So this helps for sure with that. This here, the price point on this product is $75 for this bottle. I did get it free when I bought my straightener and curling wand. Um, I ended up being able to make a deal and they did throw this in. 
it's lasted me, it's been a year and it's lasted me like I'm only down, have that much left. I usually use about six pumps and what I'll do is I'll take all my jewelry off, my rings off because usually I shower at night. So then I will rub it in my hands and like rub it between my hands and then I'll just rub it into my hair. So that's how I usually apply these oils. So in that way, I'm not applying so much to one area because I've rubbed it all over my hands first and I can really massage it in. So definitely like the way that I apply the hair serums and the oils, but this one is a definite hit. I will leave a link to the website below. I'm not sure if they still have it. I mean, this was last year, but I definitely love this. And you might be able to find it on Amazon. I will try and look it up and leave it below for you. But if you're looking for a good hair serum that actually leaves a scent that is nice and that you will actually be able to smell rather than not smell, this stuff is definitely your jam, what you want to get. I don't know why I'm starting to say your jam. It's weird. It's like the 90s are coming back to me for some reason, and I don't get it. All right, let's go into some, well, we'll go talk about, I have one perfume, and we'll talk about this. So this is the La Vanilla, and I'm pretty sure it's the Vanilla Grapefruit one, or Passion Fruit, it doesn't say. I got this from Sephora, and it was like, I think $15 for this rollerball. I am addicted to this, because it is such a light smell, but it's fruity. And I just like love roller balls right now because I just roll them on and done. And I literally keep this just with me all the time. And that way I could just touch up and that. So definitely loving the La Vanilla scents. I have the Vanilla Coconut one in a spray and I love it. Love, I don't know. They're just really nice. They're, they're kind of fruity but kind of not but vanilla-y. But they just, they don't irritate you if you like that kind of smell. Obviously if you don't like that sweet smell you're not gonna like them but definitely love this this one has like a sweet but fruity smell like a fruity but I don't even know how to describe it it's just really good it's really good I don't know if you can get this one anymore I know you can get the other ones at Sephora you might be able to get this at the La Vanilla website I'll link that below just in case but definitely love this one all right some makeup stuff. Let's get into the goods. The goods. Okay, two brushes I have been loving and I will explain the reasons why. First one is the Sigma Round Kabuki F82. And this one here is the one that's rounder on the top. It's dome shaped. It's not like um, a flat one. It's more domed. And this one I use for my primer. I don't know why I've been loving using a kabuki brush to put my primer on. I think because I can get more coverage and I can get more kind of um, disperse it better than my hands. I find that, and I don't know if you guys know, find this too, is that when you put it on with your hands and you rub it in, your face gets like really red after. And I find that, I, that that's what happens and I don't like it. So I use a kabuki and it eliminated a lot of that redness and I can get in places that... I couldn't really get with my hands and I'm not putting my hands on my face so much so definitely love this flat round kabuki not flat kabuki this is the round kabuki f82 this one here is the angle kabuki f84 and it is the one that is angled up but it's not flat it's like domed so it kind of looks like this if you can see. Um, this one here I love to apply my um, foundation. I also use it to apply like to dab in my concealer so I'll put my concealer on and I'll like kind of move it around with this one. I just I love this brush. It gets into so many nooks and crannies like you can get it right in here where you can't do that with other brushes or you can this would be great for like um, a cream a cream contour because it would just really get into there you want to get them right in the edges right but I definitely love this for applying my liquid foundation and for dispersing my concealer so this is a hit I've always loved this angled kabuki f84 this one was probably my favorite out of all the kabukis I know everybody loves the this one here which is a flat kabuki so it's like flat on the top for their for buffing in their makeup but I really have liked this angled one this one's my jam. There we go. I said it again. Um, I was going to say something else with this. So as well as the 
primer that I use with the F82, the round kabuki. I also use this one to put on sunscreen if I want to put it on my face and I could just put it in. I just like the way this disperses like sunscreen or primer or anything like that. I just, I love it. Um, so I've definitely been switching to using my kabukis to apply my primer in that and always my liquid foundation but definitely loving loving those two so the I don't know why I just stopped I can't talk right now I'm like stopped in the middle of talking it's weird so this is the Physician's Formula Super BB and I'm wearing this one today and this is in light medium and it's an all-in-one beauty balm and it's just a powder and that it's just a really light powder and I actually use this one as my foundation now and I use it with my Tarte brush my Tarte kind of uh, this isn't really like it's a foundation airbrush so it's a very dense see how it's like super super dense here but yet it does have a little bit of give so I definitely like that where I could just wiggle it in there tap off the excess and I just like buff it into my skin so definitely loving this powder and with that brush lately I don't know why but I'm hooked on this powder and that brush for my foundation I don't even I haven't used liquid foundation in a while because I've really been hooked on this and I love the way it feels it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything it just feels natural so definitely loving this there's two blushes but one is a blush slash eye makeup so we'll go with the other blush first so I've been into this pink rose by Remmel and this here is just a really nice kind of, this thing always falls off, an antique rose here. And it is like the perfect color. So I will put this one on with this Kabuki. This is a Soho. And it is, it has more give than the other one. But you can buff it in like really well. So I've really been loving this because I can really get it in there. And I like to have my darkest right here. So I can really buff in this color and kind of move it around. So definitely loving this blush with that brush. And I use that brush as well for the other blush that I'm going to tell you. And this is the new, it's not new, it's all new to me and new to Sephora. It's the Burberry. And this is the Earthy Blush Number no. 7 Light Glow. This is a contouring powder for face and eyes and I really love the dual purpose stuff I mean a lot of things are dual purpose without saying it but when it says it it just makes me go you know what I feel great about this purchase because I'm going to be able to use it for so many more things than just one thing on my face so I use this on my eyes and, and as a blush so it's the cutest little package and it just looks like this and I got this in a little set so I got this and a little lipstick and um, a brush and an illuminator so because I wanted to try out the Burberry stuff so this one here I absolutely love so I'll go in with that same brush that I use for my it just looks like that for my um, first blush and I will put it on and I will just like put that over top of it just to kind of give it a little bit more definition and then I'll take the brush that's actually with this which is just that little like fabric-y one and I'll just wiggle that into my the corner of my eye and then if that's all I want to do for my eyes I'll just buff it out and leave it and it kind of gives it a little bit of definition if not I'll go in to do a little bit more but I definitely love these Burberry blushes and eyeshadows they are so dual purpose you can wet dry anything I just love them I love them I'm definitely going to be buying more from the Burberry brand because that's how much I love it all right, what do we else do we have in here? The Full Lash Bloom, this is in black brown. I have been loving this one, I don't know why. I've had this one for a while, it's been open for a while, so maybe I just wanna use a bit of it up. But it is kind of like a plastic chubby wand, but I've really liked it because maybe it's been, maybe it's a little bit dry. I like a drier mascara that makes sense. I know some people are like, I like the wetter mascara. Some people are like, eh, I like the medium. I like the drier formula of mascara. And it's all personal preference. So this one here has a plastic wand. It is not like regular bristles. They're like plasticky bristles on it. It's kind of fatter, but I really like how this kind of fans out my lashes, 
but yet doesn't give it a dramatic effect like some other mascaras do because sometimes like I just want my lashes to be subtle sometimes. I just want my eyes to pop more but I want my lashes to be subtle so that's why I've been liking this full lash bloom. I will probably repurchase this one when it is done but there are other mascaras. I find mascaras are the one thing that you kind of like don't use right away again unless it's something that you really really love because you always want to try a new one because you have them open but they can't be open for like like a like the eyeshadows you can keep them for a long time whereas these you shouldn't keep them that long because like bacteria and stuff so you want to use them up but definitely love the full lush bloom this has been my jam I'm gonna keep saying that now for the last month I just I grab it I know that I can trust it and there so that's why another eye product and this one's like super dirty inside because I use it on my lash or my um brows and this is the Sephora brow gel and it's got a um kind of like the not like the fabric-y bristles you know like the mascara bristles and I got this in a package with the um eye brush like the brow pencil and a spoolie so it comes with the spoolie the brow pencil and it also comes with the tweezers so you get all of these for um i think 21 dollars at sephora so i picked that up because i'm like you know i kind of want to try it and see what it's like i'm really not a big brow person but i have since changed since i've gotten that so this one here is small this is the sample size of the anastasia one and i was like oh yeah you know what i want to get the anastasia one because maybe it's better I'm just going to pull these two wands out to show you the difference. So here's the Sephora one. Is this one here. And this is the Anastasia one. And they're definitely a different brush. The Anastasia one I find smells like um, acetone a bit. I don't know why. It just smells like that. And this one here doesn't really have... It doesn't have a smell, so I don't know. I kind of really like the Sephora one over the Anastasia one. I'm really sad that they don't make this in a full size. I really, really, really wish they would um, because I definitely love this stuff. Or even just sell these on their own, like these little ones. I would do that. I would buy that because this one lasts you a while um, and that. But I definitely, definitely love this one more than the Anastasia one and that. Um, I don't know what it is about it. Alright, so... <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Another brush that I like is this Coastal Sense BRC-S51. And it's kind of like just a um, eyeshadow brush. But see how it's like kind of like really kind of thin and stiff, kind of? You know what I'm talking about? I use that with this. This is this jelly... Pong Pong, and I got this in a glossy box. It's a two-in-one eyeliner shadow pencil, and it's in brown. So I will put this on as an eyeliner, and then I'll take this to just smudge it out, and it smudges it out so perfect and makes it kind of really nice and um, lighter. So then it doesn't look like you, because when you put on eyeliner, sometimes like you have those skips in your eyes. So this one kind of just blends it out, so it kind of looks like it's a little bit darker by your um, lash line there but yeah it gives you that effect of eyeliner but yet I shadow that's it yes I can't find my words again um, so yeah definitely love this and this brush that goes with it I don't know I've been using that all month it's weird another thing that I'm in love with is this um, it's like this and it is just the Bourjois Beauty Touch Crayon Illuminator Eye Illuminating Pencil and it's just in like a pinky color and I use this up on my brow bone to kind of um, kind of define my brow bone so I just put it there and then just smudge it out and I just that's all I do with this and then I'll put it on my under my eyes on my um, lower lash line so I'll go in my waterline and then I'll try and go right in this corner with it too. 
so then it kind of brightens up my eyes down there, brightens up up here, but yet I can still have my darker eyeshadow and eyeliner and then it brightens my eyes up. So I've definitely been loving that. I know that Benefit has one as well. Um, I don't, I think it's called Highbrow. I'm not sure. But this one I got just at my drugstore here in Canada and I really like it. It's just a pencil that you sharpen. So yeah, definitely loving that though. And then last but not least, my lip products. So obviously I still love my Mac Dervish. This is just the perfect lip color. Just even if you put on lip gloss and then you put this on as a lip color and just like move your lips together, definitely love this one. Mac Dervish is amazing. All right, a friend of mine had this Sexy Mother Pucker, but she had it in a colored gloss. And I ended up picking up the clear gloss of this. This stuff smells like chocolate, minty chocolate. And it just looks like that. It's just a doe foot applicator. I'm wearing it underneath the one that I'm wearing that I'm going to tell you about next. And this one is NARS Super Vixen. And it's just kind of like a bronzy color. And I have been addicted to these two together. Like, I don't know why. I just am. So, it kind of gives you like a color, but not that much. Do you know what I mean? So it just gives you that little bit of glow on your lips. So definitely been loving these two together. I literally will just take these three things in my purse and these are the three things that I use on the go. My perfume rollerball, my NARS Super Vixen, and my Sexy Motherfucker. You do get addicted to this gloss after you start using it. The feeling of it, it is like your lips. I wouldn't say that it's like, oh my god, needles are poking in your lips. It's not that intense. It's not as intense as some people say it is, but that's just for me. Like, I don't feel it that way. But you do feel them start to plump up, and you do think your your lips do feel really, like, nice and that, and voluptuous and all that. I definitely love this stuff. I mean, these three things right now are my life. So, yeah. But those are my favorites for August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment on some of your favorites for the month of August. I'd love to hear what you're using and what you're into. And that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like favorite videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, girls.